Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands 2 Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Run Speed Farm. So, we are on a new map today. As you can see, we are finished with all of our uh, boss drops in the f dust. And uh, yeah, today we are in the fridge. So, we're going to be taking on our first boss of three in the fridge. And uh, that is Laney White. So, uh, yeah, to get to Laney White, uh, come out of these doors here, open them up. And uh, we're just going to head to the left slightly here. Run up these stairs and uh, then as you get to these stairs, there's Laney Killer. Douche, that's it. That's how quick you've got to be. That's an awesome farm. And uh, yeah, very happy with that. That is one run done already in like, what, 23 seconds or something like that? I don't know. I'm not that precise. But uh, yeah, that is basically how quick uh, that farm is. And uh, it, you know, involves no tricks, no grenade jumping, no glitching through things and anything like that. This is just a pure ass quick farm. Um, you could probably make it like half a millisecond quicker by just going up there if you're a gunzerker. Um, but yeah, it's the same results really. It really doesn't take much longer uh, to actually do. So that is literally two runs done in just over a minute. And that was on top of my little intro uh, where I didn't run out straight away. Um, that was the wrong time to click three. But uh, hey, we're going to go for run number three right now but uh, yeah as i said um i'm gonna put a prediction in quickly actually before we get to because this is such a quick farm i'm gonna say i think it's going to take 17 runs and i'm never right so it probably won't take that but uh, yeah i'm gonna say 17 runs is my uh, my prediction for laney because she can be a bit of a gear i think if i remember correctly with uh, actually dropping um, her legendary so let's get into this and I haven't actually told you what we're farming for yet so uh, yeah we're going to be farming for the legendary pistol uh, that Laney drops called the gulp it's a corrosive pistol um, and uh, yeah that's what she drops with it's not the best corrosive pistol in the game if you want a good corrosive pistol sorry gulp but uh, you've got to go for the hornet from knuckle dragger so uh, make sure you head over there if you are after a really good corrosive pistol this one isn't bad at all though, I'm not going to knock it, it's uh, it's not a bad pistol at all. Um, and it's definitely worth getting, especially if you're in this area and uh, you're farming some of the other bosses. As you can see, it's such a quick farm, you can you can just farm it a few times. If you don't get it, sod it, move on, do you know what I mean? But at least try, come on guys, at least try and get it. Uh, it doesn't take much time at all, and uh, especially with these new legendary drop rates as well, you've got a better chance of... Uh, getting it for a limited time but uh, yeah so that's what we're after today anyway we are after the gub from Laney I'm saying 17 runs yes I'm, I'm gonna stick with that I'm gonna absolutely stick with 17 runs hopefully though I'll be happy if we get it in less than that and uh, this is a uh, yeah this is a good farm really a good farming route actually because believe it or not Laney is uh, just the start of it really so uh, yeah, this, like I said originally, there's three bosses in this map and uh, quite nicely they're all in one little route. They, uh, they actually all, you know, back onto each other really. So uh, let me just take her down and I'll tell you. You watch, oh my, I was just about to say, you watch, she'll drop it so I don't have to. And she bloody has. Why am I mad? Go away, rat. Go away. So she's dropped it anyway. So what I was going to say before I forget is Laney is here, well this little route here goes all the way around so you've got Laney here, you've got Smash Ed somewhere here and as you can see you go for all these little tunnels here and Smash Ed the boss is here, he has a chance to drop the sledgy shotgun um, and yeah that is where he resides and then if you carry on past that all the way around here um, I think you go like around here and up here um, Rackman, uh, the third boss of this level, is just here, so they're all in one little route, and uh, that is really helpful for farming actually, because you can just farm all three in one go. And uh, you'll see in the next episode now, which is quite coming up very quickly, um, that we're going to be uh, going after Smash Ed, who's the second boss. There's no real good speed farm for him, because like I said, uh, he's like right over there. So it's just as quick to go this way around than it is to go, you know, find a way going this way around. And there's no jumps to get 
over there. I wish there was, but I've looked a lot. And uh, you try getting over that, even with the uh, quad rocket grenades jumping and all this lot. Uh, it's pretty hard. Where the hell did that badass lunatic come from? Anyway, let's go pick up the gub and have a good little look at it. I'm full, so I need to drop something off. Uh, let's go for, I don't know, uh, oh, we only got that in the last episode. Let's go for the Varuk. That's only level 71. We don't want that. So, uh, yeah, this is the gub anyway. Um, her legendary drop. Um, let's pick that up, actually, and we'll equip it. And then we'll give it a little overview as well. So, where is the gub? Yes, like I said, it's a corrosive pistol, which will probably work best against... Um, loaders and stuff like that but uh, we'll have a little bit of an overview of it now so the red text says abt natural no idea what that means it's highly effective versus armor uh, got bad damage on it really it's quite a low level uh, 71 but uh, yeah it's not bad damage for that really it's uh, always corrosive as well i believe it's got an absolutely huge mag size though look at that 151 mag size so you can fire this like hell spam the living crap out of it and uh, yeah that is basically uh, all there is to the gub so uh, we'll give it a little fire as you can see look it just shoots out definitely a good little weapon to uh, farm for if you want to uh, take loaders but it's not going to do you very good short range as you can see look it's just like and it just doesn't absolutely nothing against anything but boss but uh, if you really go somewhere like the friendship gulag and go and slay the crap out of a load of loaders this is pretty good really it's good against them uh, ultimate badass um, constructors or whatever because you can just stand a mile away from it the blooming huge things and you can how inaccurate it is but uh, yeah that's it anyway guys that is the gub um legendary run uh six runs wow laney point um she's really stingy normally with uh, her drops i've never really got one in very good um, runs but these new legendary drops seem to be being quite good to us so that is it anyway guys next episode we will be taking on uh, Smash Edge and also Laney White again in the next episode you never know but we're going to be taking on Smash Edge for Sledge's shotgun and uh, hopefully it won't take too long to drop that but uh, again surprises may happen but I'm not holding out much hope you never really get a good drop rate for Sledge's shotgun uh, and then after that I'm going to show you guys really really cool speed farm for Rackman a really good surprise um, real good route actually that uh, does involve rocket jumping though, so uh, make sure you have your rocket jumping gun zerkers with you if you want to do this one. But uh, yeah, that's it anyway. That is the legendary run for the gold. If you put that in the comments, and uh, yeah, if you want to guess uh, for the next run, uh, smash it. Like I said, drop down in the comments how many runs you think it will take, and uh, see if you can get one right. Because uh, I certainly haven't so far. But uh, yeah, that's it anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.